fellas, we are back with part two of painting the truck. A single cab, of course, you feel me? If you guys haven't seen part one, that's gonna be right there. But it's time to move on to the rest of the truck. As you can see, we're still gonna get the bed done. Um, a lot of the trim pieces, grill, a bunch of stuff like that. But there it is, man. This is about a few days after painting it, maybe about a week or so. There it is, man. Paint's all dried up. Of course, you know, we still got to go ahead and uh, sand it, buff it out, polish it, make it look a little shinier, a little nicer. But overall, not too bad, man. Not too bad. As you can see, not too bad, man. Came out pretty clean. Not too bad for the first paint job of a full vehicle. You know, we've done like trim pieces and stuff in the past, but for a full vehicle, this is like probably the first time. So not too shabby, man. We'll take it. We will take it. So yeah, like I said, so now in part two, we're gonna go ahead and do the bed. So we can get that on, get a more complete truck for you guys. Get the rest of this truck going and then possibly get the uh, trim pieces on as well. And then it's gonna be looking a lot much better, man. Got the bed right here in the garage. Already getting it ready for primer. So you can see not too much work to be done on the truck. Really the only thing we gotta do is as far as body work. So we'll go ahead and check to see if we need any body work. If we don't need too much, we we'll probably won't primer too much, just a few little pieces. But other than that, we just gotta finish drilling a few holes in our little uh, exhaust cutout right here. Maybe a few more holes to get a better secure. Then after that, it's pretty much it, man. Get it ready for paint and then throw it on to the Mamaloski. Check it out. And then obviously, you know, the inside, we're not gonna paint or anything because we have bed liner. Um, just gotta do little touches up on the bed liner, stuff like this right here. Little touches, so pretty much that's it, man. We are almost good to go. Trucks came a long way, fellas. Check out the first videos, man. This used to be a bubble eye. You know, for everyone else saying, bro, should have kept the bubble eye. I, I had to go with a cat eye. Why? Because look, I already got a bubble eye, man. I already got this bubble light right here. So I didn't really, you know, no real, no real reason to have two. So instead of going out and buying a cat eye, just turned that one into a cat eye. Got this bubble eye. Might have some plans for this truck as well. So stay tuned for that as well, fellas. Another short bed, single cab. So that's what's hot, man. That's what you gotta have. That's the only way to have it. But right now, this is what we're dealing with. There you have it. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish drilling those uh, new holes. Cause we, we wanna have, like I said, at least another four secure bolts in there. And then go ahead and drill out the old ones, take it off so we could go ahead and get a fresh coat of paint under it. And then that's that way when we install it, we don't have to drill no new holes. There it is though, man. Let's get it going, let's get it going. Truck gonna look fire, man. Y'all can see it though, man. We already started sanding the bed. Pretty much from what we found, not much, fellas. It's a pretty straight bed as well. Not much work to do. Like I said, we're only gonna primer the spots we need to. That shit was a lot of work, but that did need more primer than this needed primer. So definitely not gonna primer this whole thing. Just a little certain spots. You can see it pretty much is done with this side as well. There it is, right, bud? Little touches. That's it, just little touches. There you have it, fellas. So this should be done a lot quicker than that was. Obviously, that's more of a process. We got a lot more edges and curves on that. This is all straight, so we'll just give it a little spray of primer, and we're pretty much good to go, man. All right, fellas, there you pretty much have it. That's pretty much it for sanding. Like I said, we just have a few little low spots that we gotta do. Um, just go ahead and fill this in with primer. This side has just a few more. Give that one just one good coat of primer just to fill in those little low spots. And then we're pretty much good to go, man. Good to get started with paint on the bed. And one step closer to getting on the truck. Now our tailgate's pretty much clean. Got little scratches here and there that we gotta touch up. That's pretty much it, man. Once we get them all cleaned up, um, go ahead and give it a wipe and then start primer and then paint. There you go, you pretty much have it. Pretty much ready to go. Now we're just taping up the bed liner as you can see. Let's get that taped up. Don't want to get paint on there. Um, if it gets on the inside, that, that's fine. We'll just probably clean it up with more uh, bed liner or some black spray paint.
All right, there you have it. Got most of the bed liner covered up. Like I said, the inside should be fine. And then here, we're just gonna leave it. You don't really see that area because once this bed is on the truck, it's gonna be hidden. So not really tripping on that. Same as down here. Don't really see this area is usually hidden by the tailgate. So just a light coat here. And then that's it, man. Get on with the paint. It's already getting dirty for how long it's been sitting out here. You can see. Kind of see. But like I said, we still got to go ahead and uh, we still got to get a little bit of orange peel out of this cab. Um, there's little areas where there's some. And then that's it, man. Polish her up. And we're good to go, fellas. Give it one last wipe with some acetone. Got some acetone right here. Give it a little wipe. And as far as painting plastics like these, you know, we're gonna be painting our door handles, also our SS bumper cover, um, the tailgate handle. You wanna make sure you give that a nice little sand and then spray some adhesion promoter to make sure that paint sticks well to the plastic. And then after that, let that dry in pretty much same process, man. Primer, paint, and you're good to go. And there you have it. Like I said, we're just gonna do a light coat. Pretty much done with that, just so we don't have to do too much sanding. Tailgate, looking pretty good. Check it out, fellas. This side, we'll probably do one more light coat on a few little spots, but other than that, we're pretty much good to go, man. There it is. All right, there you go. We're back the next day. Primer's dried all up. So now, Got to put a little bit of correction on there as you can see make sure everything's smooth and ready for paint so once we get finished with this sand it one last time we should be good to go for paint man There we go, that's gonna be our first two coats. As you can see, still need a, you see a little light gray area, so I'll probably do three coats each, and we should be good with that. So right now we'll go ahead and get that third coat started. All right, fellas, there you have it. That's gonna be pretty much all our coats for the bed and tailgate. Now onto the clear coat.
So check it out before we put the bed on. We're just gonna hit those areas that need sanding and polishing before we put the bed on because we won't be able to hit them. Um, this little lower area, just leave it. You won't see it anyway. So we'll just hit that top corner, um, these small little edges right here. Sand them with 2,000, 1,500, and then go ahead, hit it with the polisher, polish it up, and then get the bed on. All right, there you have it. It's gonna be pretty much it for that back area. So now, go ahead and get the bed on. We're gonna go ahead and use the engine lift to lift the bed and get it on there nice or getting any scratches on it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And y'all will be able to see the truck with the bed. All right, there you have it, as you can see. Put a few straps on the corners. Go ahead and get it centered out. Then from that, you'll be able to lift it and then move it easily onto the truck. All right, there you have it, fully off the ground. All you really gotta do is, uh, once you get on those straps, just bounce it out. We gotta add this little rope right here just so it wouldn't stop teetering down that way. And that's pretty much it, man, you got it balanced. Now we just gotta turn it around, get it onto the truck, man. Much easier process like this rather than having two, three people lift it. All right, there you have it. We have it pretty much centered. Just gotta go ahead and adjust it from the lift now. Just gotta go ahead and push it in. Then gently put it down and we're pretty much good to go, man. There it is. Then we'll go ahead and bring it out. All right, and there you have it, just like that. Sit down the lift just slowly and it's on, man. Obviously, we still gotta push it, adjust it. Then we're good to go. Check it out, man. Ooh, it's looking good, man. There you guys have it, man. You guys see the truck? It looks real good, man. It looks real good. Came out one clean shade, one color. Truck came out real good, man. Shit fire, shit fire, man. This is the exact silver I was going for. Kind of like a lighter, darker shade. Um, kind of like in the middle, dark silver, light gray, something like that. But as you can see, man, came out real clean with the rims as well, with the chrome, the black. It's gonna look, ooh, like I said, man, we still gotta get the grill. Um, the mirrors, side door handles, it's gonna get that all color matched. So probably get that done in the next video. So this will probably be three parts of painting the truck. Y'all see it, man. Check it out. There you have it though, man. So right now, just real quick, we're gonna get the tail lights on, put on a new harness for those as well. Got new tail lights. And then that's gonna be pretty much it, man. I'll give you guys a little drive-by just to really see that color. It's not too sunny today, but it's sunny enough. The last thing we'll be putting on in this video is gonna be some tail lights. And then in the next part, we're gonna do the mirrors, doors, uh, probably all the bumpers, SS bumper. And then we'll have a complete truck, fellas. Got those lights right here. It's just the OEM ones that come on the cat eyes. It's gonna be the red ones with the black trim around the corners. So it's gonna look real clean with that silver. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take out the uh, old harness because these are the three bulb for the cat or for the bubble eyes. The cat eye tail lights have four bulbs, so pretty easy to take out this harness. Just a few uh, clips under there comes on out, and they just put on a new one. So like I said, just like that, feed in the new harness through that little hole, and then the tail light goes right on in. You're good to go, man. Plugs right on in, plug and play. The plug is the same from the bubble eye, so you don't gotta worry about that. Just goes right on in. Check it out. Ooh. 
there it is all right check it out just like that we got those in those look real clean real clean that looks good with the silver wheels the little red on the weld logo on the weld logo Ooh. and then of course we're gonna have the uh bucket seats that we're gonna be putting in the future we got they're also black and have a little bit of red lining it's gonna be real clean fellas and there you have it that's how they look on so yeah like i said so if you have a bubble light and you want to do this you can keep the same harness the only thing is you won't have this light on down here so you'll have you'll still have your reverse turn signal and then brake light you just won't have this uh, turn signal down here There you have it. That's how it looks with the tail lights on. Ooh. Guys, I can't stop smiling, man. This shit looks so good. You got to see it in person. You got to see it in person. It look even better. There it is, though. Obviously, like I said earlier, you know, we still got to get all the rest of the trim on. Back window, getting a new windshield as well. But once I get that SS bumper on, that HD grill, no lie, man. When I first got this truck, it looked like a junk truck. It looked like a farm truck person i got it from used it on the farm so just think about it man think about it go through those first videos and relook at it went from a farm truck to a race truck in a second life There you have it though, man. Y'all see it? Next to the Can-Am. Check out the Can-Am, man. I've never showed y'all the Can-Am. I style, man. This shit, man, don't sleep, man. Shit can still tow it, all right? Still can, but there it is, man. Y'all seen it? Looking straight. Like I said, yeah, we still got to buff it, polish it, sand it, whatever. Make it look a little better, make it look a little shiner, but it's solid, man. It is solid for now. There it is, there you have it. Once we get those finishing touches on it, you know, get the bumper on, um, handles, grill, also new windshield, back windshield, tint, clean up the bed liner. Shit gonna be fire, fellas, I'm telling you, man. Stay tuned. Y'all know the deal though, man. Like, comment, and subscribe to the boy. We got a lot more coming, man. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.